welcome to Art with Mrs. Buffo. Today we're going to be creating a project using the idea of resist with a different element. Usually we've been doing it with things like wax crayons or wax oil pastels, but today we're going to be using invisible tape. If I call it scotch tape, that's just a brand of invisible tape. Today we're also going to be utilizing paintbrushes, a water cup, and watercolor paints. Let's take a look at what we'll be making today. Holy Week is upon us, we're going to be creating a tape resist image of Jesus's cross. Let's start as we always do, putting our name, date, and class on our paper. My name is Mrs. Buffo, that's not your name. So make sure you're writing your name on the paper, not mine. Today is 3-29-21 and you are class either 2A or 2B. These will be written on the board as well. The art concept we're using today is that of resist. This is the process in which two art materials repel one another. We are going to be putting down tape, two pieces of tape to create a cross image. And that tape is going to create a barrier between the watercolor paint and the construction paper that we're using for our paper plane. Let's see how we're using the tape today. Okay, I'm gonna flip my piece of paper over, get my invisible tape ready. I'm going to use two different pieces. The first one I'm going to put horizontally, that means side to side. I wanna make sure that my tape is really secured to the paper, so I'm gonna rub my finger up and down. The second piece is going to be longer, and it's going to go vertically. That means up and down. You can see, oh, there's a little bit of a wrinkle in this piece of tape. Is it the end of the world? Oh no, it's just gonna add a little Mrs. Buffo flavor to my art. As you see, I'm rubbing down those pieces one last time. Let's make sure that our paint tray is all prepped. I'm gonna get my watercolors ready by dipping my paintbrush into the water and adding drops to each color that I'm gonna to wanna to use. Now, it's time for painting. You can use any design ideas that you want, any background. I don't want yours to look like mine. Make sure yours has your own creativity. As you can see, that tape did a good job of blocking the paint from the paper. I'm gonna take a paper towel and wipe off that those excess water droplets to really clean up my image. After stepping back and taking a look at my image, I decided, you know what, it's just not all the way done. So I went back and I'm adding a few more little texture lines, gestural texture lines to my image. I'm going to further clean up with my paper towel and then look at the image again, decide if I'm all the way done or not. Let's see how it turned out. I decided to use this background is because it utilizes all different shapes and colors just like God utilizes every single person and how we each are uniquely different. I decided to put a mound on the bottom to signify where Jesus died on the cross for us. Jesus is represented in the white cross because the color white is considered to be pure in our religion. That's it for this installment of Art with Mrs. Buffo. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.